Magandang buhay! Welcome back to Virtual Class! Our topic in Science 4 is about the changes in materials when mixed with other materials. And our learning objective is you are going to describe what happens to the materials when mixed with other materials. During hot weather, halo-halo is a favorite food. Have you seen and tasted halo-halo? Look at the picture of a halo-halo. What are the materials mixed together to form a mixture of a halo-halo? So what is mixture? Mixture is a substance made by mixing other substances together. It is the product of a random distribution of one substance through another without any chemical reaction, as distinct for a compound, like in halo-halo mixture. So we have here the different kinds of mixture. So we have the halo-halo, gulaman, sagot gulaman, and vegetable salads. And we have also the wet clothes where water is mixed with the fabric. So there are types of mixtures. So mixed materials can be classified depending on the appearance of the resulting mixture. The first type of mixture is called heterogeneous mixture. Heterogeneous mixture is when a combined materials or mixed materials are easily identified or distinguished from one another. Like for example, the mixture or a mixture of halo-halo. So in halo-halo, we have the sago, the ube, slice of banana, langka, leche plan, milk, ice cream, crushed ice. So in this mixture, we combined more than one materials in a glass. And still, we can identify or distinguish each material from one another. That is why it is an example of heterogeneous mixture. Another example of heterogeneous mixture are palabok, chapsui, and pakbet. Another type of mixture is called homogeneous mixture. Homogeneous mixture is when a combined materials or mixed materials cannot be distinguished from each other. Example of this is a coffee. So in this mixture, we have the coffee powder, the sugar, the creamer, milk, and the water. So we will mix all the materials and after mixing it, we cannot identify the one material or the other material from each other. Another example of homogeneous mixture, so we have the chocolate shake, the mango shake, the coffee, and the orange juice. So, bakit homogeneous mixture? Dahil kapag isa o dalawang materials pinagsama or pinagcombine, hindi na ito ma-identify after mixing. That's why it is called homogeneous mixture. Now, let's have our experiment. But before that, observe safety precautions in doing the experiment or activity at home. Now, let's answer the following questions. First, what happened to the materials when mixed with other materials? When two or more materials are combined, a mixture is formed. Mixed materials can be classified depending on the appearance of the resulting mixture. So, from your experiment, which pair of materials can still be distinguished after mixing them. So we have the pebbles and sand, and the cooking oil, and soy sauce. Next is, which pair of materials cannot be distinguished after mixing them? Mixture of vinegar and rubbing alcohol, soda and water, baby powder and detergent powder so what type of mixture do we have that look the same throughout or cannot be distinguished from each other the answer is homogeneous mixture what type of mixture did not look the same throughout or can be easily be distinguished from each other the correct answer is heterogeneous mixture is there a change in the property of the materials in the mixture? So the properties of each material in the mixture do not change. The size, shape, 
color of each solid material remain the same even after mixing. Is it proper to mix all materials found in your kitchen? Why? What can be done to organize them properly? That's all for today. I hope you learned something new today. Happy learning! Bye!